Hi, my name is Ida and I'm also known as Starbit Cosplay and today I'm going to show you a very, very beautiful wig that I was sponsored by wigsfashion.com. They're one of my favorite wig makers, brands, whatever, and I've been using them for years so it's a, a really great honor actually to be able to work with them and get this amazing wig from them because I love them so much. So this is the... Long Spiral Brown Lace Front Synthetic Hair Wig LF243 It's a lace front wig if you didn't hear that <laughs> and uh, it's really really freaking gorgeous I will be using this for my Padme Amidala cosplay It arrived in this plastic bag thingy where it says Wig is Fashion on the front and hair and beauty because wigs are beautiful whatever the only problem with this bag is that the hairs get stuck in the little thingies But other than that, I love it! So this is how it looks like right out of the bag I haven't cut the lace yet since i got some styling to do And to best keep a lace front wig in its best shape for as long as possible You would like to not cut the lace too early because then you can have it stay beautiful for longer. Did that make any sense? Probably not. It's really thick and really beautiful, which is really normal for the Wiggers fashion wigs because they're always really thick and really realistic, which is nice. This is the lace. You can see it growing out of my head. No, you see that mix is. 26 inches. I don't know how much that is in centimeters, but it's quite a lot. Um, the curls are spirally beautiful, and this is the exact tone of brown I wanted for my Padme cosplay, so I'm really extremely happy with this. It has some light brown tones in it to make it seem even more natural, which is really nice because most hairs isn't just a solid color. And now it's time to put on the magical, magnificent wig. Damn. I just suit wig hats with my giant freaking head. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Putting on wigs with glasses is always the best thing, so I'm just gonna have to be blind for a couple of seconds. I hope that's the camera. I hope so. I can't see you. Oh my god. How does that look? <laughs> if the wig is actually on my head, okay, that's not too bad for putting on a wig the blind. So, as I said, I haven't had the chance to cut the lace yet because I'm still gonna style it. I'm going to remove the widow's peak because Padme doesn't have a widow's peak. But other than that, it's perfect. It's so curly and magnificent and I feel like a freaking queen. It's, it's a queen wig. I'm not a drag queen. But a drag queen would probably wear this wig as well because it's freaking amazing. I don't really have anything bad to say about this wig except for that the wig cap is slightly too small for my head. But that is just because, as you may know, I have a giant freaking head. As I have mentioned like 10 times in this video, I have a very larger head than the average person. My head is 61 centimeters in like the whole thing, <laughs> which is translates to a hat size between extra large and extra extra large, and that is unisex. I just have a giant head compared to every human being on the earth. So that's great when you wear lots of wigs. <laughs> Thanks, nature. Um, but yes, I love it so much. And then I'm going to be wearing my buns, my Padme buns with this, which are V-Sings. I made myself, crocheted myself, and then they are going to be put on these bands over here. Um, I'm very, very excited about this cosplay and this wig. This wig is just 10 out of 10. Yes. I can't find one thing to complain about. It's everything I wanted in a wig. So the original price of the wig on the wigisfashion.com site is 68 US dollars. Um, it's a really good price for a synthetic wig. Uh, it gets, of course, a bit more with shipping. To Norway, I think it would be like around 80, 80 bucks, which is 
quite a lot of money but still it's what you have to pay for a good quality wig anyway and these are some of the cheaper better quality wigs you can get so 100% recommended this wig buy 10 I would buy 10 if I could I would want one in every freaking color because it also reminds me a bit of Christine from Phantom of the Opera doesn't it? it's like yeah masquerade paint the faces on parade masquerade Hide your face so the world can never find you. Think of me, think of me fondly when we say goodbye. I'm trying not to sing so loudly because I'm not alone in the house and I don't want the entire family to hear me singing Batman with you because that's, that would be awkward. <laughs> So yes, I hope this review was of some help to you. Let me know if you want more wig reviews in the future. And thank you, big, big thank you to Wig It's Fashion for sponsoring me the wig. It's a dream come true to work with you guys. And you will be seeing a lot more of this wig. And if you guys are interested, I may be going to put out some process videos of my Padme cosplay. I'm um, I didn't mention the one I'm making. I'm making the picnic version from Attack of the Clones. The beautiful yellow gold mesh, Art Nouveau, beautiful dress. It's beautiful, okay? Here's a picture. I'm currently in the process of hand embroidering the entire baby skirt because I'm crazy and I hate myself apparently. <laughs> so hopefully it will be worth it. And then I'm going to be wearing it to an event the next month which I can't talk about yet. Hopefully soon. Hopefully very soon. <laughs> and uh, there, there should probably be an announcement video for that. Uh, yeah. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video review. Let me know if you want more. And I'm also in the process of maybe thinking of doing a Patreon where I will be doing makeup tutorials, step by steps, and just a lot more in-depth stuff. Um, behind the scenes of my photo shoots because a lot of people have been wondering how I do my self-portraits. So that could be a thing that may be happening. I haven't decided yet. It could happen. It could not happen. But if you're interested, let me know. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. I love you. See you later.